In this Star Wars Battlefront video, we will be taking a look at issues with the graphics in the Classic Collection. We'll be comparing the new graphics to the original games. But before we do take a look at this comparison though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future Battlefront Classic videos. So, one of the big talking points within the community from the announcement of the Classic Collection is the graphics. For starters, when I revealed the file size of this Classic Collection, people were in disbelief. You're talking about more than a five times increase in storage required for these games. That's what happens when you upscale textures with AI and maybe some not so great compression. Seriously, the Xbox versions have gone from around a combined 7 gigabytes to over 56 gigabytes. The PC version also is coming in at around 50 gigabytes, and even the Switch version is over 25. That's quite substantial for a Switch game, especially a re-release of a 2005 and 2004 game. I have also read a lot of comments on my videos and across social media with contrasting points of view regarding how the game looks. We've seen people love what it looks like, others say it has not improved enough, and even people saying nothing has changed at all. Questions have also been raised whether AI upscaling is being used here or not. I would say that the general consensus has been it does look better, thanks to its higher resolution, but as you'll see when we take a closer look, that doesn't mean it looks better. In some cases, it looks worse. With all of these contrasting views, I thought, let's do a graphics comparison between the original games and the classic collection based on gameplay footage we've gotten so far with the trailer. For context, I will be using the 4K trailer uploaded by PlayStation of the classic collection versus the PC version of Battlefront 2 on max settings. In some cases, I'll be using the backwards compatible Xbox version of Battlefront 2004. Let's start with this shot on Geonosis. The upscaling ruins the bubble turret textures for me here. That's just getting that out of the way. I'm sorry, I'm just disappointed. It just stands out like a sore thumb. You can clearly see artifacting being caused by AI upscaling. It is creating colours that aren't present on the original textures. The bolts should be identical to each other, you can see that in the original game, but the AI has them in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. Sure, it is sharper, but it loses how it's supposed to look like. It has colours that simply are not part of the source material or the original texture. This is just not great, in my opinion. On to Mos Eisley for Hero Assault. And as you can see, there isn't too much of a difference in this particular scene. I would say the biggest differences are the clouds in the skybox and the ground texture. You will also notice that the buildings look better in the distance thanks to the higher resolution, but I'm unsure how they will look up close. Just for fun, I thought it'd be interesting to compare both the PC, Xbox backwards compatible version and the new trailer together. You can see that the classic collection is much closer to the original PC version rather than the Xbox version. Let's now take a look at this shot on the Tantive 4. If you look at this grey box, you can clearly see the AI upscaling in play. Yes, it's sharper, but there is artifacting going on. It just looks worse. Those three circles look like drawings rather than manufactured perfect circles, as we see in the original game. It's things like that that just stand out. They have this AI look to them, and it isn't pleasant compared to the original game. In some cases though, there are improvements, in particular to the floor texture I'd say. Because there is a lot less finer detail, it just looks sharper and better. The door frame on the left here looks a bit strange in the trailer. At first I thought it was just the reflections like in the original game, but I went back to refresh my mind on the original games and how they looked. Now the Xbox version does not have those reflections, but the PC version does. Although the reflections seem to be far more prominent in this trailer. Maybe reflections have been improved upon in this re-release, but at the same time they don't entirely make sense, weirdly. I'm not sure if this is an issue with the texture, or just the improved reflections means it's reflecting far more of the corridor, which is why it looks strange compared to the original Battlefront 2 on PC. If it is a mistake, hopefully this is fixed for the final release of the game. Here is a look at the snow speeder front on. 
The problem with AI upscaling is that you do lose the finer shapes in the original low resolution texture. From the circles to the rectangles, even the grill, you just lose those fine lines and details. It's a real shame because, in my opinion, looking at this image, at least for the snow speeder, the PC version that we already have looks better. The lights in this scene are better though. It appears that they've actually added real lights to the stand in front of the Falcon. They weren't present in this version on the original game, but they are there. And I think the ones on the floor are emissive textures because they don't have the same flair. With this scene, let's compare the classic collection trailer along with the Xbox backwards compatible version and the Battlefront 2 original PC version. In my opinion, the PC version just has the better textures. As you can see, the PC version has much better textures than the console version. It has a real good amount of detail despite being old, and that is lost in the AI upscaling. Going over to the Naboo planes now, and you can clearly see the skybox is much better. The downside of this shot though is that the AAT has low resolution textures that have been upscaled, so you do lose accuracy within the details. Let's go to the cloning facility on Camino, and the clones do look sharper, that's for sure, but they aren't quite as close up to the camera, so I can't really tell exactly if there is much artifacting going on here. Hopefully there isn't. But I'm not keen on the walls found in this scene. There's just a bit too much purple rather than grey in colour. If we compare to how it should look like, it just isn't as accurate in this re-release. I think I do prefer the TIE Fighter in the new version of the game in this shot over the Dune Sea. My only concern is that on the wings there is a lot finer detail which is present in the original game but not in the re-release. This pattern is just non-existent and due to the angle and ever so slight amount of detail this might be down to YouTube compression. The compression of the video may have completely eliminated that detail. If that is the case then the detail should be there in the final game. I really do hope that all of that detail on the wings has not been lost to AI. Here is another shot on Geonosis. The background is definitely far sharper and looks better. Maybe perhaps a tad overshot, but still. That would also apply to the ATT as well. I think it's maybe a bit too oversharpened. Also in the original game, it has a far more pleasing colour to my eye at least, but that is also down to no lighting affecting it. I think there might be some new lighting in play with this classic collection, so it's actually more accurate to how it should be on Geonosis than the original version, but it's just got this weird colour I'm not a huge fan of. This is just personal preference, so I'm interested to what you think, so let me know down in the comment section below. I don't have a comparison for this one, but just look at the UI elements, in particular the text. It features typical AI upscaling behaviour, where letters blur into each other. If these were typed out from anew, then they would be sharp and there wouldn't be banding. Something you've probably noticed when looking at these comparisons is a difference in colour between the trailer and the original games. It is particularly noticeable on the Tantive 4 and Camino shots. Hopefully this is just a trailer colour decision and the actual collection is closer to the original games or if anything, just like it, how it should be. Having looked at these comparison shots, this isn't to say AI upscaling is always bad. It can be done well. Even in regards to this game, I think in some cases it does look fine and an improvement in some areas. I'd say the biggest difference is an improvement to looking at things in the distance. Because of the high resolution, they don't look like a blur and you can see more detail. But when you look closer, that's when the detail becomes worse than the original. I know some people will be commenting, these look the same, or I don't care about it looking worse because I think it looks better. And that's fine, it's all personal preference, but I thought I'd mention this anyway because when I looked at the trailer a second time, I started to realise there are some issues when it comes to some of the textures. Personally, I love detail, and seeing some of that detail ruined by the upscaling is a shame. That's one of the downsides to having a source texture be so low resolution. Other textures that are larger in size and those that have less finer details will look better. There is also a chance that the game looks better than what we see in the trailer, be it due to improvements made to upscaling before the release, or even YouTube compression, as I mentioned earlier for other examples. 
The collection does release in a couple of weeks, but this trailer may have been made quite a while back. We just don't know the timeline for this, but it is something to think about. When you do look at the sharpness of this classic collection, yeah, it looks better and more pleasing to the eye for the most part, but many people may not have seen the older games in quite some time, especially back when most people played on old CRT monitors, and they may not have checked out the awesome looking 4K backwards compatible Xbox version, or even the PC version, which, as I showed you, has some finer detail. Based on what we've seen in this trailer, I think it does maintain the look of the original games, which is what they set out to achieve, I'd imagine. But there are still some issues I would like to have seen improved. I know there are people out there that want a full-on remake, so it looks 10 times better, but there are also plenty of people that just wanted this game to look like how it used to. Not a remake, but keep the mood and atmosphere of the original game. Based on this trailer, I think in some cases it has achieved that. In others, it has not. Don't get me wrong, I'm very glad that we are getting this re-release. It will help preserve this game for the most part to last longer. Multiplayer is also a big plus for console and it just means more people will check out this game. I'm just disappointed in some of the upscaling I've found in the trailer. I would love to hear your thoughts on what I've shared in this video so please do let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe so you don't miss any future Battlefront Classic Collection videos. If you did miss any of my previous videos on the Classic Collection, check out the playlist on screen right now and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.